Becoming an astronaut. Danger! A spacecraft hurtles through space. Suddenly, lights flash and alarms ring as smoke fills the cockpit. The astronauts inside have just seconds to decide what to do. Thankfully, the spacecraft is a simulator and not actually on fire. The astronauts are taking part in a training exercise on Earth in the Soyuz spacecraft. A simulator is a model of a spacecraft that feels like the real thing. Simulators are used to train astronauts. Astronauts in a simulator. Not everybody can be an astronaut. What kind of person do you think could do this difficult job? Astronauts wanted. Only people with special skills can become astronauts. Many have worked as pilots, scientists, or engineers. First, they apply to a space agency such as NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. If they are chosen, they will train to work on the International Space Station, or ISS, or for other space missions. And there's the International Space Station, or ISS. An astronaut checklist. An astronaut must be in great health, have excellent eyesight, be good at math and science, have a good memory, be calm in difficult or scary situations, be unafraid of heights and small cramped spaces. Here's NASA's 2017 trainee astronauts take a selfie. Thousands of people apply to NASA, but only a few become astronauts. The 12 trainees chosen in 2017 beat out 18,300 other people. Basic training. These trainees are practicing fixing the ISS toilet. Once people are selected to become astronauts, they begin basic training. They learn how to fly the Soyuz and other spacecraft to the ISS. They must learn how to repair all the equipment if something breaks. Trainees are also taught basic medical skills, such as how to give a shot. To make sure they've learned everything, they take hundreds of tests. The Soyuz spacecraft that fly to the ISS belong to Russia. Therefore, all astronauts must learn Russian as part of their training. Here, a trainee astronaut practices his medical skills. Learning to fly in the Soyuz simulator. Flying a spacecraft is extremely difficult and dangerous. Astronauts practice every maneuver for hundreds of hours in a simulator. They work on taking off, orbiting Earth, and connecting to the ISS. It's a little like playing a very complicated video game. However, the crew knows that a single mistake could mean disaster. An astronaut training inside a Soyuz simulator. A simulator can be programmed to create an emergency. This helps the trainees learn how to solve problems under pressure. A space station on Earth. Trainee astronauts also spend time in a life-size model of the ISS. They prepare for the experiments they will carry out in space. They also learn how every part of the space station works. Each astronaut must know how to fix hundreds of machines. Astronauts also train using virtual reality. They wear VR headsets that allow them to see the space station all around them. They practice carrying out tasks. And here is an astronaut training with a virtual reality headset. And a life-size model of the ISS. And cave knots. To prepare for life in space, trainee astronauts spend a week in a cave. Deep underground, there is no day or night, just like in space. The trainees have only a limited amount of food and water. 
They must explore the cave and work as a team to complete a mission. The mission might be to collect samples of gases and rocks, or to look for signs of life. Here's a trainee doing an experiment, and trainees eating lunch underground. Like space, a cave is a dark, dangerous place to work. The trainee astronauts learn to rely on each other. The trainee astronauts are known as cavenauts. Here, they're setting up camp. The Vomit Comet. To be ready to live in space, astronauts must experience weightlessness. On Earth, gravity pulls everything toward the ground. Inside a spacecraft or space station, astronauts feel weightless. To learn how this feels, trainees fly on a plane known as the Vomit Comet. First, the plane flies high into the sky, then it dives toward Earth, creating the effect trainees will feel in space. The Vomit Comet earned its name because it makes some trainees feel very sick. Inside the Vomit Comet, the astronauts practice moving while weightless. They even try running on a treadmill. You may have seen astronauts floating in the ISS on TV. What do you think is the most difficult thing to do while weightless? A walk in space. Astronauts also prepare for spacewalks or EVAs, extravehicular activities. They train in a giant swimming pool that contains a model of the ISS. In the water, astronauts practice using special tools. They also learn to use tethers to connect themselves to the ISS. Without a tether in space, an astronaut could float away and die. Here we have an astronaut preparing for EVA training. During a practice EVA, an astronaut wears an air-filled suit and a heavy belt. The suit makes the trainee float, and the belt makes him or her sink. This causes the astronaut to feel weightless, just like in zero gravity. Let's see, you've got the tether and the trainee astronaut. Blast off! Finally, after six years of training, the big day arrives. Five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. A newly trained astronaut blasts into space. In just six hours, the Soyuz spacecraft will reach the ISS. Then it will be time to do one of the world's most exciting jobs. These astronauts are about to board the Soyuz spacecraft. The word astronaut comes from the Greek words astron and nautes, which means star and sailor. Which part of becoming an astronaut do you think is the hardest? Which part is the most fun? Science lab. Think like an astronaut. Astronauts must be able to concentrate and think fast. Try this test to discover if you can think like an astronaut. You will need a notebook, a friend to help you, a timer, and colored pencils or markers. To complete the test, you must look at the words and say the color of each word, not the word that's written. For example, the word says blue, but the color is red. You must say red. When you're ready to start, ask your friend to time you. Read from left to right. If you make a mistake, you must start again. How quickly can you finish the test without making a mistake? Now, try writing your own set of 12 color words and test your friend. Can he or she beat your time? Science words. Cockpit, the area of a plane or spacecraft where the pilot sits. Gravity, the force that pulls things toward Earth. Engineers, people who are trained to design, build, and repair machines or structures. Orbiting, circling or moving around another object. Experiments, 
scientific tests set up to find the answer to a question. Virtual reality, an environment created by computers that looks real. And that is the end. Please subscribe.